Big head. Woohoo! So, row of teeth. That's good, it goes to the corner of the mouth, eh? Yeah, it was well hooked, eh? That's good. Hey team, here we go, introducing the new Globite Bleeder jig heads. So, these are what you just saw on the video there, and they're a whole new kind of soft bait jig head system. So what makes them different from anything else on the market is that they've got a hole in the end. And that's what we call the bleeder hole. So the design that you can take your favorite fish attractant source, you can fit it, the nozzle actually fits perfectly into that little square hole there, and squeeze it in until you see it starting to come out the bleed hole at the back. So you've filled up the tube that's all the way through, and then it takes about um, four or five casts for that um, fish attractant to slowly bleed out of the um, jig head and it's creating a burly trail, a little mini burly trail behind your lure the whole way. We've designed the bleeder jig head to work with pretty much any soft bait that's commonly available on the market. Um, so I'll just take a pretty standard sort of a five inch jerk shad and the way that you rig it is uh, you start by going right, we want the eye of the hook to end up in about that position on the end of the uh, lure. So we'll start there, we'll use the um, pointy end of the hook to make our first hole and coming down on a 45 degree angle. Don't know how you can see that. Um, through and out underneath the chin. When you pull it back out you've made a little dimple on the underside um, that shows you where you want to put your um, eye of your hook through. So you poke that in to the lure and when it starts to come out the other end, you need to give it a little bit of a scratch often just to break the tension. There you go, now it's popped through. So there's your eye of your hook um, coming out through, going in under the chin and coming out through the nose of your lure. And then of course you're just looking at it and going, I want the um, hook to come through about there. So you turn it over and poke your hook point through and it comes out the top like so. Now one of the beauties of the bleeder jug head is that you can use it weedless, therefore you can just push or pull the hook down so that the uh, point of the hook is lying parallel to the surface of the lure, so it's a lot less likely to hook up on the weed, but of course when Mr Chompy comes and bites down on it, um, he's going to get himself hooked, so it's just pushing it down um, to hook up, but uh, it's a little less likely to catch the weed when the, when the hook points up like that. So there you go. There's a fully rig rigged bleeder jig head. And you can see that the, one of the key other points of difference with these jig heads is now we've got the weight underneath the lure rather than going to all this trouble to make something that looks like a little fish and then putting a great big lump of lead on its nose. So it looks more natural. Also, it swims a lot more naturally. So putting the weight underneath affects the way the lure swims. Um, it also, when you're doing a slow, steady retrieve, tends to make the lure just wobble slowly through the water and you can see that on some of the footage we've got there as well. So fast retrieve, it just darts like normal, slow steady retrieve, because of the slight bull nose on the front of it there, it tends to just catch in the column and just wobble ever so slightly, which also means that it's putting a natural sort of an action on it when you've got it out behind the back of the boat and you're just on the drift. It's just wobbling along just above the bottom and it really does look very fish-like in that situation. So that's how to rig the, um, the five inch standard lure. Um, now one of the other things that you'll, you'll realize is that with these lures, you can tie it off onto your leader line, um, but it's often a real advantage to have a small little clip that you can then clip that lure on with. So we've developed at Globite 
a, um, a very small clip and it's black as well. Um, so the visibility is really low, um, but it's very quick interchangeable. So you can unclip it, take that off, change your um, lure color if necessary, and then clip it back on. You can also use that clip then obviously to go to the jack flash lure or some other slow pitch lure or something else that you might be wanting to use. So a really good idea to use the, the Glowbite Stealth Clips um, in conjunction with these bleeder jig heads. Let me show you how we rig a big seven inch soft bait. And now I'm using a five bar row hook. And you can do exactly the same thing. You can put it up through the nose and out and then have the hook out coming out through the back there. But one of the beauties of these hooks as well is that you're not constrained to just doing that. And quite often, when I'm out fishing these big seven inch soft baits, I'll feel the fish connect, I'll feel a funny stretchy sensation, and then the fish drops it. And because the hook's so far forward, it hasn't necessarily connected. With the bleeder jig head, you can actually solve that problem by moving the jig head further back down the lure. And the way I do that is I actually thread my leader line through the nose of the lure and out through the belly here before I tie my jig head on. So let me just show you how I do that. So here I've got uh, my leader line and just for the purpose of illustration you can use any kind of needle. Um, obviously a threading needle that you would use for rigging up a live bait would be perfect for this. Just to show you how simple it is, today I'm just going to use a paper clip. So I'm going to straighten out that paper clip because it really doesn't need to be anything too sophisticated. Put a little bit of a loop on the end of it. And we'll see how that goes. There's my straightened paper clip for threading one of these seven inch soft baits. So I just, I want the line to go in through the nose. So I'm gonna poke my paper clip in through there and coming out through the belly of the lure. And then I'm going to tuck my leader through the eye of the needle if you like, not that it's really a needle. Hold it up out of the way so that I've got that loop nice and secure. And I'm just going to pu pull the whole lot through. Grabbing this end. You can see it's pulling my leader down into the um, soft bait. There we go. We've come right through. So now I've got my soft bait threaded onto my leader. Tie it off onto my bleeder jig head. I like to use a little uni knot for this. Incidentally, you can actually tie it off onto your clip. So you've still got your clip in the system. You can even pull the clip through the head of the um, through the nose of the soft bait if you want to. There you go, there's a nice little uni knot. Okay, so I've threaded my line through my soft bait, and then I've tied it off onto my bleeder. And now I'm just pulling that bleeder jig head up to locate it in the front of that um, gut cavity, if you like, of that opening underneath the soft bait. Same again, having a look at the soft bait going, okay, I want the hook to come out through there. But you'll notice that what we've actually done is we've moved the hook point back 30 to 40 millimeters further down the lure, which means that we're more likely to hook up to those fish that on some particular days tend to be grabbing the tails of the lures rather than grabbing them around the nose. So there we go, now the hook is in there, we can pull it down so it's weedless but it's further back and having that weight in the, in the middle of the lure again, like I said before, tends to make it fall much more horizontally, tends to make it wobble on the way down. It looks a lot more fish-like than something that's nose diving all the time. So there's another little tip for you, something else that you can do is rig those bleeder jig heads further back. Of course, don't forget to put your um, secret sauce in there, fill it up until it starts to come out the bleed hole at the back and then you've not only got a really natural looking lure, but you've got one with a scent trail going out behind it. Yes, you can put your favorite fish attractant on the lure itself, but it tends to come off really quickly. I don't know if you've noticed that, but when I'm putting um, 
the fish attractant, just wiping it on the lure, I find that by the time I've got that lure back to the boat after that first cast, it's all gone. I don't know whether it disappeared on the drop, whether it disappeared in the first 10 seconds, or whether it stayed on for the full two or three minutes of the retrieve. So I really prefer this new system, fill up the bleeder, and it takes four or five casts for that to just bleed out really slowly. So there you have it. There's the new Globite bleeders available in three bar row hook and five bar row hook, available from quarter ounce, half ounce, three quarter, one ounce, and the big old two ounce jig heads. So there's a whole lot of different options there. Go out there guys, give them a go. You'll be smashing fish this summer on these lures. Something following us, there's a big fish with a shark under it. Oh my goodness. Big underneath it. Right up. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, can you pass me this one? Yeah. 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 Yeah